All right, Shalom, first and foremost, I'm going to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakal Kadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the real leaders of all Israel, whether you uh, receive it or not, and peace, love, and salutation until you Aki and is pushing this truth and true sincerity. And the apostles and elders of Great Millstone are the true, leader, true leaders of Israel, whether you can receive it or not, because you got a lot of guys out here, Johnny come lately, and all of a sudden they're elders. You know, we got we had uh, what last year. You had the pork eating uh, guy who thought he was King David. You know, you got a lot of uh, cults of personality Israelites. Let's get that right quick. Let's get this definition. Cults of personality. A situation where a leader, often a dictator, has been falsely idolized and made into a national or group icon and is revered as a result. Intense devotion to a particular person. You see that with um, these self-proclaimed leaders. They're, 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 the sec they're the third in command after Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. You got to go through them. Yada yada yada. That's what you see with these other Hebrew Israelite camps. And this lesson is for you know, brothers is just waking up. Beware of these cult of personality Israelites. Be beware of the cool personality, the you know the uh, want to be seen Israelites. I need attention Israelites. I'm I'm here. I got the fringes on Israelites. So I'm gonna start off with this scripture before I show this clip. This is Romans two and twenty eight. For he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly. Oh, you got the head, you got you got the armbands, you got the expensive garments at the Passover, people charging you two hundred dollars for a Passover, which is that absurd. Neither is that circumcision, which is outward in the flesh, but he is a Jew, which is one inwardly. All right, inwardly, um, you're working out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You know, inwardly, you are displaying the fruits of the spirit. Inwardly. You are doing what uh what second Peter the first chapter and first Peter the uh, first chapter say. Um matter of fact, I'll get it after this one. But he is a Jew, which is one inwardly, and circumcision is that of the heart, and the spirit and not in the letter, whose praise is not of men, but of the most high. See, a lot of guys they do it for praise of men, because it's the trendy thing. Oh, I'm an Israelite now. You know, it's trendy. All right. I want to get that one at first Peter. I think it's second Peter if I'm not mistaken. Or a scripture says, give all diligence to make your call and election sure. Well, let's start with this one. Um Second Peter one and one, Simon Peter, a servant and an apostle of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. You still got all the Israelites that call on Jesus Christ. Alright? And that mom saw this video that these Israelites they still calling on Christ, man. To them that have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of the Most High and our Savior, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of the Most High and of Yahweh Shai our Lord. According as his divine power have given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. Through the knowledge of him that have called us to glory and virtue. Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises. That by these you might be partakers of the divine nature. Having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. And Lord willing we're part of that number. Uh, 2 Peter 1 and 6. And to knowledge. Well verse 5 excuse me. And besides this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue and virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience. Yeah, we're patiently suffering for our Lord to come back. Every day is closer to it, but we're patiently suffering. We're, we're seeing the uh, level of many waxing cold. We're seeing the prophecies. 
It says, and to patience, godliness, and to godliness, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, charity. Now, it was a scripture say, charity cover a multitude of sins. For if they, for if these things be in you and abound, they make you, they make you that you shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Uh, verse nine. But he that lack of these things is blind. And cannot see her far off and have forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. And we don't want to be in that prideful spirit. All right. We want to keep adding. All right. To our spiritual repertoire, so to speak, in these last coming days. Wherefore, the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling an election short. So these other Israelite camps, they don't talk about election, the remnant. All right. Those who are predestinated to obtain salvation. For if, you do these, for if you do these things, you shall never fall. Right? And this is just a quick example. I don't know these guys from a can of paint. It's, it's not hating like you guys be saying. All right? This is not a smack DVD. This is not drink champs. All right? This is not the Cameron and May show. All right? This is the ministry of Yahweh Bashamel Shai. This is life or death. And the scriptures say, mark them that cause the visions. Matter of fact, let's get that one. Because a lot of Jakes watch these videos. Man, you guys are haters. Let them be, man. You guys are haters. All right, man. This is not the hip-hop game. All right? And you see it with these other Israelite camps, man. They do the rap stuff. And then you get this preconceived notion that you can't rebuke anybody in this truth. That you can't tell, hey, brother, you're going off. We were in some serious times. And you guys want to make it a fashion trend to be Israelites. Romans 16 and 7, now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause division. That ain't talk, this ain't talking about the mark in Revelation 13 and 6, because that's another thing. This is like, yeah, 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 go to Romans 16 and 7. See, that's the mark right there, brother. Scopeo, that's the mark right there, brother. No, it's not. That's different from G5480. Strong's G4648, Scopeo. Scopeo. Scapeo, it says to look at, observe, contemplate, to mark, to fix one's eyes upon, direct one's attention to anyone, to look to, take heed to thyself. So when you see these examples, you're supposed to take heed, not sit there and you guys are haters. You, man, you, you can't make a rap video. You guys are haters, man. All right. All that other complaining that you guys do, man. Or oh, what's the what's the, the thing from last week? Your G A Y if you rebuke somebody. All right. You guys have been listening to too many hip hop records. All right. And, and that hip hop has been going to your head, man. This is what our ancient forefathers did. So I'm going to play this right quick. Hey, Jake still don't get it. I might just title this lesson Jake still don't get it. Now, this is from the Invincible Brothers YouTube shorts. Let's play this right quick. See, all that Christ, Christ, Christ. All right, the long hair. All right, the friend is on the T-shirt. Those are all telltale signs that they're not preaching sound doctrine. And when you go to this uh, page, it says this channel is about waking up the Negroes around the world. What about the Hispanics and Native Americans? All right, you got to beware of that black only uh, spirit, man. This channel is about waking up the Negroes around the world. Well, there's 12 tribes. Have you not, have you guys not read Judah's the head tribe? That's one of them. What about the 11 other tribes? It says this channel is about waking up the Negroes around the world to the fact that they are the true bloodline descendants of the people known in the Bible as the children of Israel without hatred or harm to any other group of individuals. And it ain't hatred or harm that we getting on you guys, man. All right. We're just stating the facts. It says, just the facts offering instructions, teaching, and encouragement for recently awakened Hebrews and waking out, walking out their salvation and keeping Yahuwah's laws. Who's the Yahuwah? 
All right, go to G, go to H thirty sixty eight, and you will see the name Yahweh. There's no U in the Paleo Hebrew, so that's what we'll be talking about. This Yah Yahuwah stuff. All right, that's where you get the black only stuff, man. Who is Yahuwah? All right, now they're saying Yahuwah on on the on the on the, on the page, but on the video they're saying Christ this, Christ that, and as you can see, typical stuff you see on Facebook and Instagram. All right, the memes, you know, so on and so forth. That's not that's not doing the work, man. Putting a meme on the internet or Instagram, which I wouldn't put anything as far as the truth on Instagram. All right, that's not doing that's not doing the work of the Lord. Now you look at the videos, you know, the Invincible Brother waking up Negroes. You, you know, of course you got you got the you got the videos, the rap videos. I don't see any street teaching videos, so I mean, this is what you get with these other guys, all right? So let me get a scripture right quick. Let me turn this phone down. Now I want to go to 2 Timothy chapter 4. 2 Timothy 4 and verse 1, I charge thee therefore before the Most High. And the Lord Yahweh Hamashiach, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing in his kingdom, preach the word. A lot of guys is just, just trendy, it's cool. I see these guys all the time. You know, after camp uh, this previous week, when the apostle uh, Ram Lob and Elder Damashapa were here, you know, um, you know, we were driving through trying to make our way back home, and we saw a guy. Um, I believe it was a couple block, uh, blocks past where we preach at. He had he had the um, he had the fringes on his t-shirt. He had all black on. All right. And he had the headband with the Hebrew words. And I think it's from the ISUPK. That's not really being circumspect in these times going around with fringes on your shirt. Because the time of persecution is coming. And them fringes t-shirts finna go in the trash can with a lot of you guys. All right. Because you think it's a trend. You think it's this is. You think this. You can get. Uh, I can get all the ribs I can. I. I got about five of them on deck right now. I, you know, you think it's a, it's some popularity show just because you weren't popular in high school. Now that you're an Israelite, you think it's cool. No, we're in some serious times, man. They're gonna shift the focus from Amalek, the so-called Jew and his folly, to blaming us for everything, blaming all the Israelite camps. So you gotta be rooted and built up first and foremost. We gotta pray in the right name of Yahweh Hashem Shai. All right, it says preach the word, be instant in season, out of season. You got to be there when it's brick cold, and you got to be there when it's hella hot. Reprove. That's what we're doing with these lessons. Rebuke. And I don't know these guys from a can of paint, but for brothers that's waking up, you can't get caught up in the popularity of being a Hebrew Israelite, man. We're going through some real serious times. I got to turn this phone down. All right, we're going through some real serious times right now. Any any day now, something can happen. Says, preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Exhort brothers to continue in the faith and call on the right name. All right, IUIC is not calling on the right name. They're not, they're not exhorting anybody anything. All right, verse 3 For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. And that's what you see with these guys doing. They're not enduring sound doctrine. They've heard the apostles and elders. I ain't trying to hear them, they're too old. That's what Sakari said. Oh, they too old. It's a certain age. What, what, what the hell are you talking about? For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. Right, a lot of these men that were in one West at, you know, back in the old school, they're not enduring sound doctrine and they're misleading you. But after their own, and then you got a lot of Johnny come lately. There's a lot of guys that so-called elders and they only been in the truth for five, six years. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having inching ears. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned into fables. Fables are uh, falsehoods. But watch thou in all things. We got to watch all things. We've, we got to watch ourselves too. All right. Endure afflictions. That's what it's about. Enduring afflictions. It's not about being cool. I'm a Israelite. I'm tourist, I take care of my kids. Come on, bro. All right. This is not a promo for uh, Hebrew Israelites, man. 
This is not a popularity contest. Jake still don't get it. But watch thou in all things adore afflictions. Do the work of an evangelist. Make foolproof of thy ministry. And you don't see that with these guys, man. They're here one week. Uh, it's a little chilly right now. Still winter. But you'll see your favorite camp. All right. You'll see your favorite camp when it's springtime. All right. They're not instant in season, out of season. All right. Let's get another one right quick. Acts 14 and 22, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith, the sound faith, all right, the true faith that the apostles and the elders are preaching. A lot of you guys are just haters, man, and you don't look up what the apostles and the elders have been saying, all right? They're on point as far as this sound doctrine. Because it, it, the proof is in the pudding. When you guys go off, here comes a hell of response videos. Of course, we're going to do response videos, man. The scriptures say to defend the gospel, to contend for the faith. That's what you're supposed to do. What's the problem with contending for the faith? It says in that we, excuse me, in that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the most high. Jacob's trouble. When the time when they're going to push this chip, we're not going to be in these houses and apartments when you got to get the grain of rice to live in the house and on the apartment. All right. There's famines, food shortages, earthquakes in adverse places. The persecution is coming and you guys is, oh, yeah, you know, making promos. All right. Making promos as if this is cool. All right. Let me play that one more time, man. I'm going to go to the shorts. Waking up Negroes. What happened to the Spanish and Native Americans? You got you guys got to watch that, man. That Negro only black, black, back to Africa. I'm blackity black and I'm black y'all spirit. Some of these guys could be Reuben or Gad. All right, all that black Negro spirit, man, that's not sound doctrine. Let me go back. I'm an Israelite. Of course, they say we in a cult, but then he's Paul the same thing. And you see, you, you see the jacket, man. All right, you see the jacket, and um, it says the name of Yahweh on it, but you call him Christ. That's another, that's another red flag, man. These guys will say the name, but then again, they'll say Christ. That's not the name of the Lord, man. Christ is not the name of the only begotten Son. That's a Greek name. Now, I see this right here. This is Sons of Thunder. So, I don't know if this is Sons of Thunder. You know, uh, you know the thing with these other Israelite camps, they like to get together for these unity camps with these uh, false uh, false uh, breakdowns and these false teachings, man. It's all, we, we put the doctrine aside. No. Let's get this scripture right quick. So, I noticed that. The, the other guys, let me play this right quick. Now, you got Sons of Thunder on this man's shirt. He got a different jacket on. I bet it don't say Sons of Thunder. Let me play that one more time. So he got a he got he got a Zion shirt. The other one had uh Sons of Thunder. Alright. Oh, so my computer went a trip, but nevertheless the show must go on. This is uh Ephesians 4. I'm gonna end it off on this. Alright. Jake still don't get it. You know, for brothers waking up. You got to look at these telltale signs, calling on Christ, fringes on your t-shirt. All right. Nobody walked around in the ancient days, ancient days with a Hanes t-shirt with fringes on it. Ephesians 4 and 1. I therefore the prisoner of the Lord beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation wherewith you are called. You got to walk worthily. All right. In this faith. Of course, we make mistakes and go off, but that's what prayer is for. With all lowliness and meekness. A lot of these guys, they just got this bravado. Yeah, we just, we're right here. You know, all this tough guy bravado spirit, man. This is about being meek. All right, confessing to the Lord your sins. This ain't about being cool and having your little fashion and merch. Fashion design show and your little merch. 
with long suffering, forbearing one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit, even as you are called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, all right, not Yahuwah, Yahushua, and Jesus Christ, Shehawashai, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all, all right? So, Lord willing, I was edifying to the next time. I want to say Shalom. But for brothers that's waking up, beware these, beware these uh, uh, Johnny come lately. To, uh, I'm too sexy for my shirt, Israelites. Like they're just making it a trend to be an Israelite and walking around with them uh, fringes on your t shirt, man. We're in some serious times. You got to build up your faith in these last days if you're just waking up. So, with that, I want to say Shalom.